Hello. Good morning, everybody. Uh, and welcome back. Or if you're new here, welcome. I am so glad to have you. My name is Kat and I am a flight attendant with a major US airline. You guys, I am so excited. Hold on, let me take a sip of coffee first. I already got dog hair all over me. <laughs> I am actually on vacation right now. So I'm on like paid vacation for the week. So for my vacation time, I actually ended up deciding to pick up for work and I figured I was gonna work something. Now I had no idea it was gonna be this trip. I know based on the title you probably already know, but let me do like the big drum roll. So we are going to Auckland, New Zealand. Like I am stoked. I am so excited. This is the trip of all trips out of Dallas Fort Worth. Like this is the one. Like Asia is up there, but Auckland because the hours are so good. It's going to be it's going to be a long old day. But the hours are great because it's a four day worth almost 30 hours. That's what flight attendants would be making in six days. So today is gonna to be day one of four, but we're gonna get a late start. So the sign in time is not gonna be until 9.50 p.m. And then we are gonna work, I think it's like a 15 to 15 and a half hour flight. It is gonna be a long old flight. Now, once we get to Auckland, we are gonna have a 26 our layover coming back i think it's going to be like 13 hours or so so two long long flights like this one has three full hot meals and this one also has three choices of meals to get in the main cabin which i'm going to be working i believe i'm position six so we're going to be on the boeing 787 900 so i'm going to be working the main cabin so this one's got a lot of service <laughs> a lot of stuff to do back there but you got plenty of time plenty of time to keep us busy but also when we get back on the fourth day we're going to be coming in at like 8 30 in the morning so it's kind of like four days but it's also a little bit like three because you start so late and you get back so early early so I don't know it's just a little little funky but I am so 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 excited so I'm thinking what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna shower and just like kind of like blow out my hair like nothing crazy and then pack my bag in my in-flight bag I have no earthly idea what I'm gonna pack but I'll figure something out and then take a nap later on and then actually like do like full hair makeup the curls all that before we actually head out that way they'll last kind of as long as possible on this big old long flight but i guess now i need to go uh start making some dog bowls and getting in the shower <laughs> so much better nice and refreshed and showered I already packed my bag now I did go ahead and just like blow out my hair but I am gonna curl it before we leave because my hair is naturally curly so it just holds a curl better especially if there's even an ounce of humidity in the air which I'm not sure if Auckland is humid or not humid so I just blew it out just so it's like nice and cute now which I also want to give a big old shout out to the sponsor of today's video and that is way way has completely transformed for my hair it is so much healthier so much more shiny so much more vibrant so lately my routine has been to use the way thick hair shampoo I also love the thick hair conditioner like that combo set just smells so good but sometimes I've been opting not to use the conditioner but instead like I use today is the way hair gloss this stuff is so good it just is like that extra little like shine that little oomph on your hair and it's made with hyaluronic acid and rice water so not only does it give you immediate shine straight from the shower but it also helps to treat damage and enhances your color vibrancy so when i use this i'll like wash my hair i shampoo it as normal and then i drain the excess water off and i just separate it into two sections and then i put just a small amount you don't need a ton probably like this this much in my hand 
and then I go ahead and like put it in the ends and just like comb it through on both sides and I'll let it sit there for like five minutes so in the meantime I go ahead and just shave do what I need to do and then I rinse it out as normal now because my hair is naturally curly it's very dry it needs as much moisture as I can possibly give it I still personally go in and use Way's leave-in conditioner this stuff is so good this stuff is money in a bottle and I just spray it again I really kind of like focus on the ends and then this stuff I'll sometimes put in before and sometimes I put in after I put it in before today and that is the way hair oil and then to finish off I just added a little bit of the volume spray just right into my roots it just like really kind of keeps it from weighing it down because my hair is so thick so sometimes I just like to add like a little extra like volume into the top so if you guys want to try any of the products I have shared with you today you're in luck because you can get a glow up with way when you go to theouai.com slash Kat Nesbitt you'll get 15% off any product and again that is theouai.com slash Kat Nesbitt once again thank you to way for sponsoring today's video now I'm gonna finish out my day and I will see you guys tonight for a long 15 hour flight over to Auckland. Okay, you guys, I am crusty and dusty. I don't even want to talk about it. We're going to have to clean ourselves up and then be on our merry way because right now it's already 11 o'clock local time. But I want to show you the hotel room because it's super cute. It's kind of fancy in here. So I'm very close to the door, but look how beautiful this closet is and like the detailing. It's just stunning. And then there's a door right here I haven't even been through. Let's see. All right, so we're going to the bathroom. What is this? Okay, we have... Master, fall, oh, fall. No, nope. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, we'll just leave those alone. So here is our beautiful master bath. All the mirrors in here. And then I am living for this. This is such a cute little bar thing. And then this is our room. And do we have a view? It's not looking like it from over here. Let's see, ta-da! Um, absolutely not. <laughs> okay, so view is limited, but the hotel room is gorgeous. So I need to start like freshening up and getting unready to get back ready. That was a long old flight. It was a good flight, but that was a long flight. All right, let's see, is there a luggage rack? Maybe I'll just use, use this. What's going on in here? Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna put my, my suitcase here then. Well, maybe not. Maybe we'll do over here instead. All right, I'm gonna set you up here real fast. I cannot believe I'm here right now. This has been on like my bucket list for I don't know how long, like New Zealand and Scotland have been like my top two that I've really wanted to visit. So it's feeling very surreal that I'm here. And you would think with that knowledge that I would have some idea of what I wanted to do. But that's not the case. <laughs> We've kind of hit a crossroads. So I was talking to some of the flight attendants. I also pulled you guys on Instagram and was like, what should I do? Some of you guys recommended me some stuff and some restaurants that are unfortunately closed because we are a whole day ahead. So right now in New Zealand, it's Sunday, but back in the States, it's Saturday. So that's really confusing. But a lot of you guys told me I think it's Wahiki. Sorry, I have like this, if y'all heard that, I swear. Apparently you can like ferry out there and it's like tons of beautiful wineries and it's supposed to be like really, really stunning. But on the other side, there's a place called Devonport. And now a lot of the crew is like, oh, you should go to Devonport. There's tons of like beautiful hiking. It's kind of like a seaside town. There's like lots to do, restaurants, coffee shops, all sorts of stuff. So we're kind of at this crossroads of what to do. Now, I don't think this is gonna be my only time going. So I feel like whatever we choose, the other will probably be what we'll do next time. Also, shockingly, I didn't really sleep on break, but I feel very energized. Might be the Celsius I had. And don't do this at home, kids, but I'm a trained professional. So I might be cracking open another time. <laughs> but the other one that I drank was like probably like 
10, 10 hours ago or so, something like that. But I might, I might, be, <laughs> I might be busting in into another one um, as I get ready. Just listen to some music, kind of chill, get the vibes. I am in a good mood. I, I cannot believe I'm here. Like I'm just, I don't, I don't even have words. I'm excited. So I was gonna get ready right here, but I quickly realized there's no mirror. I have my small travel mirror with me, but I'm kind of wondering if it wouldn't be better just to like maybe use this or I've never been like a stand up, <laughs> stand up in the mirror type of gal to get ready. So I don't know, maybe we're gonna use this or I might just use a travel mirror. I'm not really sure yet. This room isn't really the best for getting ready. We're, I feel like we're, we're super close. I'm gonna scoot back a little bit. But um, one thing to note that I have officially learned today is that if you are gonna be traveling to New Zealand, and I guess I kind of knew this, but it's my first time really seeing it. That's probably like better. It's my first time really experiencing it because it makes a lot of sense, but they are very, very strict about what you are bringing into the country. Obviously they want to protect the natural habitat here. So definitely when it comes to foods and things, they are very strict on what's allowed. Even things like honey or like honey products, like let's say Burt's Bees, for example, the, the chapstick and all that, you can't bring that in here. They have a strict security screening when, when coming into the country. So that's just something to note and I was already told that they are pretty strict about the liquids here And it's very much similar to London about all the liquids for crew members and for everybody need to be in a bag Okay, I know this is a very staple like me kind of outfit But this is what we're rocking with because I still don't know the itinerary But I am gonna put my Doc Martens on I have like my bomber jacket and then my little, um, what are these called? Like like parachute pants, something like that. I don't know, they're my favorite style pants. I have the Primark bag and inside I have my insulated shopping bag as well as just like some other random stuff. So I'm gonna put my shoes on. My room is a little bit of a disaster because of how fast I had to get ready. So if you see it peeking behind me, no you don't. But um, I'm actually gonna end up meeting with another flight attendant named Chase. He was another junior person on my crew and he's never been here either. So we're gonna go ahead and explore uh, New Zealand together. I don't know exactly still what we're getting into. I think though, we're leaning towards Devonport. This has been such an amazing layover, like so good, but I made a crucial mistake and I have nobody to blame but myself because I was not thinking when I put my Doc Martens on because I'm so used to only really wearing them in the winter time and I always wear thick socks or double socks. And I just was not thinking and I didn't even realize it until it was too little too late. But while we were actually over at Devonport, I started noticing like my feet are, are really hurting. I'm starting to get blisters, but you're on a peninsula. Like there's nothing I could do at that point. So once we got back, I was like, all right, looking up how far the hotel was versus how far I knew there was an H&M because like we walked past it and I was like, you know what? Let's just go run over to the H&M. It's closer. I'm going to get some more socks and then just like double, triple down on the socks and I should be all right. Y'all, when I tell you I was limping, limping over to this H&M and I did end up getting a pack of socks. There's two more that I got. So it's like a pack of seven socks for like 10 bucks that I ended up picking up and the damage was already done. Even though like I triple socked it, it was already done. I have blisters 
all over my feet. They're at the bottom of my feet, on the back of my feet, like horrible. It was so bad. And we have walked so incredibly much today. Like we have walked miles easily and it's such a cool city. And I'm feeling like a little bit defeated that I'm having to tap out. But when I tell you guys, like my, <laughs> my feet are destroyed. I'm not even gonna show you. Like I came back and I had to like literally just wash them and just like kick them up because <laughs> they're just, they're wrecked. And again, I have nobody to blame but myself. But we found like this Vietnamese restaurant and we had some pho, it was like chicken pho. And he said it was like one of their only dishes that was like completely gluten free. So good, so, so, so good. It was like eating a hug. And then we also went over to a grocery store. So I'm gonna show you all of the stuff I got. Now, one thing to note, I've been told that they're equally cautious on, on some of the stuff that like, you're bringing out. Like you can't buy like the Manuka honey here unless you go ahead and get it at duty free or if you wanna check a bag, which I don't wanna deal with the whole check in the bag. So I didn't get the Manuka honey. And I know if, if you're familiar with New Zealand, that's like one of the, the main things people are like, go ahead and get it. I might pick it up at duty free though, but I can't get it here. Now, something I did get that is very iconic here, which I don't think I can eat it because I don't think it's gluten free, but I think Chip is gonna love it is Tim Tams. So these are very iconic to New Zealand. I think almost like New Zealand, Australia, if I'm not mistaken, but this is definitely like one of the things that they say to get. So um, I got the white chocolate as well as the original. I also saw like the Marmite or the Vegemite. I saw both of those and I know those are very polarizing as far as whether people like them or not. Also very iconic of, of Australia, New Zealand, but did not pick those up, but I did get these and I actually wanna open them. They are gluten-free cookies. So they're white chocolate, coconut, and lemon biscuits. And that just sounds so good to me. I also, when I looked at like things to get, for some reason, I don't know why, but for some reason, Bluebird chips are, are on the thing you need to get. So I guess this is like a New Zealand brand or something. I'm not really sure. But when I looked up and I was like, what do I need to grocery shop for? Like what's very iconic? This brand is something that came up. Now I did have to look because some of them are gluten-free and some of the flavors are not. So this one happens to be gluten-free and this is green onion. I originally was gonna get like sour cream and onion, but for some reason that one's not gluten-free, but this one is. Now this one I'm gonna have to have in the room because again, with like the liquid rules, but I just picked up one of these little protein yogurts, like a Greek yogurt. So it's like 12 grams of protein and I figured that's a nice little snack. And then I also grabbed these, which I am excited about. So I have yet to find like some really good gluten-free wraps. And I'm gonna be really sad if like this is gonna be like the best wrap out there and then I'm gonna have to like try to fight to get Auckland or like imagine non-revving out to Auckland just to get like these little wraps, but they look so good. Oh, oh yeah. And then I got these for Chip as well. I think he's gonna be like super excited. I have no idea if they're good. I've never seen them before, um, but they are like protein chocolate blocks. I don't know if it's in the States or not, but I thought he would really like this. Now I'm kind of thinking I might try to take a nap and then look for dinner somewhere because I really have not had a lot of food today. And that's not my brightest idea. I'll probably have um, this yogurt though before I go down. So I might do that. I don't know. I'm getting pretty exhausted. Like it's finally, it's taking a toll on me. Like it's finally hitting me um, that, that I'm, I'm getting tired. But for sure, regardless of what happens tonight for dinner, I am gonna be up early in the morning and I would like to go find Band-Aids <laughs> because I do not wanna work a 13 hour flight, which is like the meanest blisters, no Band-Aids or anything. But also, um, we looked at some like breakfast spots. Apparently there's another really good breakfast spot that's like a local spot besides just the hotel breakfast, which I've heard is really good. But for sure we will be doing something in the morning. We're gonna explore, we're gonna like take our time because it's gonna be a little bit of a later sign in. So that is the game plan. But I guess for now, I'm gonna start like winding down, kind of like hitting the lights, um, eat my yogurt and like rest and then <laughs> prop, prop my little tootsies up. <laughs> because because you guys, I am dying. I'm, I'm, I'm actually dying. <laughs> Good boy.
morning, you guys. I feel like my face feels like a little puffball. Like my eyes are all swollen, my face is puffy. I wish I would have brought like my facial roller with me. I meant to only sleep for like an hour. I was gonna take like an hour nap and then get ready, go out to dinner somewhere, pick up dinner, but nope. When that alarm went off, I was like, uh-uh. I was down and out for the count, which I'm, I'm kind of glad I did. Cause like I woke up and I'm not, I'm not super hungry. I mean, I definitely want to eat something. I like, do as I say, not as I do. Don't skip dinner. But the yogurt right before I went to bed though was like so good, so good. I really wish I could bring a bunch of those back. It was like just delicious. But I actually set my alarm for eight o'clock this morning, except right now it's six. 29 so it looks like the sun is gonna rise at like 6 47 i can see from my window that it's still pretty dark but it's like slowly lightening up so sun has to be um rising starting to rise right now so i think i'm gonna go ahead and just finish doing my hair and makeup getting dressed and packing most of my stuff up that way we can just like spend our morning out and about and just soaking it all in before we have to leave unless the universe just wants to give us another day here <laughs> I'm willing to stay. I, I can definitely find something fun to do for an extra day. This is like for sure one of those places that you cannot knock it out in a day. There's absolutely no way. Just in case, just throw it out there. Put little seedlings out there. Okay, so here's our fit with the little, <laughs> little socks and slides. Um, because blisters, you know, so we can't, we can't win them all. It's not the worst, honestly. And because my pants are so big, I feel like sometimes you don't catch it, but... <laughs> Do not let me fool you. I don't know, can y'all see my upper lip right now? I am sweating, full out sweat, and it's only 9.02 in the morning. Um, there's a lot of places, <laughs> a lot of streets here that feel very San Francisco. It's a lot of up incline and a lot of steep downcline, downcline, decline, so I am sweating. I'm actually gonna start dripping here in a minute. But also, Auckland isn't the most accommodating to finding like gluten-free stuff. Now, I will say this, the first place I went to did have like three gluten-free options, like it was an acai bowl, musali, like, um, like an oatmeal, and then there was one other, but I think it, it, it they weren't serving it. But the problem was there was no seating. It was absolutely packed. Their coffee was phenomenal. I got an iced latte there, and so I see why it's packed, but like there was absolutely no seating, so I couldn't eat there. And then after that, I went to four different bakeries. None of them had anything gluten-free. One of them does usually have like a brownie or an orange, some kind of orange loaf bread, but they weren't serving either of them today. So finally, one of the girls there sent me over to a place called Amis, is that what it's called? Hold on. It is called Amano. So she sent me over to Amano and the girl was so sweet. They had a poppy seed bread, but we get like randomly drug tested and I heard mixed reviews on how much poppy seed you can consume before you'll give like a false positive on a drug test. So I didn't want to eat that. And then it was like a cheesecake and a Rocky Road little thing. So I got a cheesecake. Not what I thought I'd be having for breakfast, but this is it. I don't know how good it's gonna look after I've been, oh, it's still, it's still pretty cute. This is our beautiful cheesecake. What a wonderful breakfast. Hopefully it's really good. And then I also got some band-aids at a corner market and I picked up one more of the yogurts because I had picked this up early on just in case I couldn't find anything. Um, and even at that grocery store, 
nothing, no gluten-free bread. They had a full bakery thing, no gluten-free bread. So if you have food allergies here, just know, just know that you might have a hard time finding food, like maybe plan ahead. Or, or also I could have been just super unlucky and picking all the wrong places. So either one, strong possibility. I'm gonna get a spoon really fast. And also to go along with the breakfast, I will be having a Celsius. Another one. Not like I need more caffeine this morning, but I'm not gonna be able to take it back. So I'm gonna drink that as well as some water. So this is gonna be our, our breakfast. I did see that Skyr, it's like S-K-Y-R, that Icelandic yogurt that I can usually find in London and it's really good and high protein, but I've never seen this brand before. So I really enjoyed this yesterday. So I was like, oh, I wanna go ahead and get another one of these because I don't know when I'll see it again. But as you can see, it kind of is like separated. Like the fruit is a little bit separated and then you just mix it in. The weather here is phenomenal though. It feels so nice because it's like summer over here. Mm. I guess I can't get, be completely mad that I'm having cheesecake for breakfast because I skipped dinner yesterday. So mm. Mm. I don't know, does cheesecake like naturally gluten-free? I don't know, to be honest. This breakfast is kind of hitting, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not usually a sweets person. I'm definitely more, more savory, but you know, I can't even be mad at this. <laughs> I'm literally in Auckland, New Zealand, walked around all morning long having gluten-free cheesecake. Love it. <laughs> what a time to be alive. <laughs> one thing I'd like to do, I don't know if y'all are gonna laugh at me, but one thing I would like to do is next time I'm here, they have the little Hobbit houses that you can go see, and I guess you can do a tour of that. And I kinda wanna do it. I kinda think that would be really cool. I saw online, it was a little bit pricey. You know, maybe just expect to spend a little bit of money for the experience, but I actually, Y'all can laugh all you want, but I actually think that would be really cool to do. I would also really love to do some hiking here, not in my Doc Martens. <laughs> I'm telling you, I just have like so much stuff like I wanna come back and actually do and like spend some time here. All right, you guys, unfortunately, it is officially that time. I'm already backed up and we have to go. I was really holding out hope. I was like, just maybe, maybe we'll cancel. Like definitely a little bit Delulu, but it's officially time to go. So I guess let's head downstairs, head to the airport and get on out of here. No.